I've come back with another interesting video from the TV show The Good Doctor Season 1 Episode 4. So in this video we will learn useful phrases that will help you speak English faster. So we will learn words like sh a super, show up, phrasal verb, viable, safest course, fatal, consequences, doesn't do any good, should've, grammar tip, faucet is dripping water, patient vitals so let's see what do we have we have for today a super a building superintendent a building supervisor the sentence is there's a super in the building you can call him anytime a manager responsible for repair and maintenance in a residential building show up this is a phrasal verb means to appear or to arrive Late bus does not explain why you are showing up tired, why you came to work tired, why you arrived late and tired, show up, after you just had 12 hours off. So he had 12 hours rest, then he came to work late and tired, and his boss told him that late bus does not explain why you're showing up tired why you arrived late and tired viable capable of surviving or living successfully I'm sorry there is no chance it would survive long enough to be viable the safest course is to terminate the pregnancy safest course means the safest way of behaving the safest way the safest course is to terminate the pregnancy fatal causing death fatal there's high chance for blood clots which could have fatal consequences for you there is high chance for blood clots which could have fatal consequences for you we're willing to take that risk the husband said we're willing to take that risk so fatal means causing death blood clot this is a blood clot consequences means a result could have a fatal consequences could have fatal results for you saving the fetus fetus means an unborn human baby unborn still in the womb of a mother saving the fetus doesn't do any good if the mother dies in the process doesn't do any good I've had I've had three miscarriages miscarriage means the expulsion the extraction of a fetus from the womb before it is able to survive independently so every time she gets pregnant she didn't deliver the baby the baby dies in her womb contradict never contradict me in front of a patient again contradict means conflict never disagree with me in front of a patient again to contradict someone to disagree with him I agree with your assessment of the risks. I suggested a way we could mitigate them. So there are risks we need to mitigate them. To mitigate a risk means to make less severe. So if your judgment is clouded in any way, clouded means confused. You, you're confused. You're not able to make a judgment. You're not able to make a good decision. Examples, the alcohol must have clouded my judgment. The alcohol must have clouded my judgment. Don't let your resentment cloud your judgment. I'm sorry, but husbands don't have veto power over their wife's medical decisions. So a husband cannot decide for their wives. This is a very nice phrase. I'm sorry, the doctor said to the husband, I'm sorry, but husbands don't have a veto power over their wife's medical decisions. 
I missed my stop. I need to get off at Linwood Place, the driver said. Well, then you should have been paying attention when I stopped at Linwood Place. So he missed it, his stop at Linwood Place, and he said to the driver, I need to get off at Linwood Place. Should have means that something did not happen, but we wish it happened. We use should have to talk about past mistakes. Should have. I should have eaten well. I should have studied. You suck at being a neighbor. You suck at being a neighbor. You're a bad neighbor. Very bad neighbor. You suck. Life sucks. Life is very bad. Stink. You stink. He said to her, You stink. I know I'm disgusting, but I can't shower there. Stink means have a strong unpleasant smell. Dripping. My sink drips. The faucet is dripping water. Like when you close the faucet, water still comes out of it. Dripping. Are you trying to mock me or encourage me? To mock someone? To make fun of someone? Patient vitals. What are the patient vitals? Vital is the patient vitals are body temperature, pulse rate, respiration rate, blood pressure. These are vitals. Patient vitals. His vitals are stable. If you like this video, let me know by subscribing to my channel and commenting down below the video. Thank you so much.